Hopping from foot to foot while you wait to be able to pee at festivals, events, concerts, wherever. While in the men's room, it all literally goes smoothly. Every woman is familiar with this frustrating situation. These two Belgians have come up with several solutions. It's all mathematically calculated, so organizers had better begin to listen. Firstly, the problem. Often the total toilet area is divided fairly. But on the same surface, there's room for 12 men's toilets, but only 10 for the women. So women have to wait an average of 6 minutes 19 seconds. Men wait for only 11 seconds. Men go faster. They don't have to open a door, clean the seat and hoist their skirts. Therefore, a woman's toilet visit takes on average one and a half minutes. A man does it in one minute. To equalize the waiting time, more women's toilets need to be added. If the surface is arranged differently, women get 13 toilets and men eight so waiting time for women is reduced. In this situation, women wait about 1 minute 25 seconds and men 2 minutes 23 seconds. If you want a situation where both men and women have to be in line as short a time as possible, a realistic toilet layout looks like this. For women, there are 12 toilets available and for men, 10. Women wait for 2 minutes 18 seconds, men about 40 seconds. But the holy grail for shorter waiting lines, mixed toilets. If the surface area provides 12 toilets for both men and women, and there are 10 urinals, women should wait about 2.5 minutes, men just over half a minute. But you can also go full gender neutral with 20 toilets that can be used by men and women. In this situation, the average waiting time for everyone is 2 minutes 10 seconds. And it could be even better. If there are 14 mixed toilets, but an additional 8 urinals for men, then women wait about 1.5 minutes and men less than a minute. Everyone happy? Good. Now I need to pee.